Do you guys think this will be all right to chop this? I mean, it, it looks somewhat green. Let's get to it. All right, so I need to show you what, uh, I had a new build project here around this farm. So, uh, basically, I plan on chopping some of my corn. I know, I know, it is really late in the season. I mean, look at this grass. It is brown. But, I think if I'm mixing this with the alfalfa hay, it should be alright for our uh, feeding. Also, I'll mix it with uh, corn. Uh, I got this bunker built here. So, I was really raiding on the construction of this bunker. Uh, before I was able to chop my corn. I did rent a chopper. Uh, I have a chopper for a day, so I'm going to try to chop as much as I can possibly in one day. The only thing is, I'm a really short man. All I have is Timmy. Timmy has to pull through for me here. Timmy's going to, I plan on Timmy, he's going to run the chopper. Uh, and then hopefully I can truck in level the silage. Uh, that's a lot of work there. Uh, that is the plan anyways to keep these uh, fatties over here fat. That's the goal of a feedlot is to feed these guys fat. Uh, I have a, so my plan is basically remember that big old payloader we borrowed to uh, bury that old place in over here well we could still rent that I was like you know if I'm by myself with Timmy what better uh, way to compact a silage than a giant payloader I know it's not really practical but we have it here to borrow so why not use it uh, it does it's not costing us that much uh, Bob over here will just said he he'll rent it for us and I think he said he'll rent it for us for a couple thousand so obviously it's gonna cost us a lot in fuel because uh, that thing is redonkulous as a gas guggler but I think it would be well worth our time and that way we can get to chopping all of our feed hey Gina and that and get to harvesting because we still we will chop it and then I'll have to harvest the rest of that field after I chop it that's the goal so I need to go pick up a few items so I'm gonna go pick up the chopper and then I'm going to uh, I'll have to go pick up the payloader all right so we're gonna run down uh, basically pick up that uh, our big chopper so the goal is to get that chopper I've rented the chopper just for a day so I plan on uh, using that to chop as much corn as possible I know it's too late it's late late but we were busy with harvest with all the other tasks we had and it just uh, time ran out for us there's no real excuse for it but other than uh, we were busy with not enough help uh, my uh, where plan is to uh, man I, I lost my truck can you believe that I had to think there for a second where did I leave my Pete oh Peter Peterbilt it's over here on our other field I forgot I needed to still empty it into the bin so we'll take that back uh, empty that into the bin. I plan on use, putting that on the trailer quick and uh, using that to uh, basically uh, haul the chopper back for us. Hopefully this old girl starts. It's only 45, 55, 51. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Let the air build up a little bit. Uh, we are a little overloaded, but uh, we're just driving right back over there. We'll be fine. You guys ever seen uh, 
ear tickling high alfalfa when it uh dies it's like a mass of future tumbleweeds here yep not a pretty sight all right yeah I these uh bushes in this map too man do they ever blacken up so they get nice and dark so this is a corn we're gonna chop so basically we're just gonna be chopping it primarily for the corn cob but there is a little forage in here for the cows it won't be a complete waste but I do just need a little bit more feed to make me over the winter. Like I said, I can mix that in with the alfalfa and it should be alright. Won't be the best top feed out there, but you'll at least get the cows fat. So we'll run this back and unload it quickly. And then uh, shoot over to the dealer quick. Borrow uh, a nice brand new John Deere chopper. So, we're kind of lucky we got to borrow that for one day. So, get to chop some of our corns. Old Timmy's going to get to run the 9000 series uh, John Deere. He's pretty excited about it. Called him. Fortunately, I couldn't get my wife to run the chopper. It's probably a little bit too much for her. I don't really blame her, so uh, not a big deal but beans we could use the big uh, payloader we will be set anyways all right gotta start the workhorse up here let this thing warm up a little bit before we run the pto all right gauge the pto all right we got that truck unloaded so we do have we have about 15,000 bushels we have of corn on this big old bin. It's a lot. Shut that off. All right, I'm going to park this here quickly. Uh-oh. We got a problem. We got too many trailers. And, yep, we got too many trailers. I'm going to have to find another place to go park this Wilson there quickly. And then I'll hook up to our low boy over there all right we will leave that trailer parked right there uh, it is will be parked outside but uh it will survive i know we have a lot of indoor parking but i'm only gonna leave it outside for a few days so it doesn't really pay to back that into one of our buildings i'm gonna need the oversized load trailer here of course Shouldn't take us long to get back here. I will see you on the return. Uh, you guys think I'm a little wide here? Just a tad. So I'm so wide I even turned the flashers on on that uh, old chopper. I'm a little bit worried. I'm like skirting. Like I am a little bit in the yellow. People uh, drive by me and they uh, honk their horn. Just a tad bit wide. Gonna run by here so no one even gets over a little bit over here in Nebraska. I mean, expect me to drive in the ditch or something. Oh, missed my turn. Yeah, I'm not stopping there. I just will take it all the way to the field. So I'm gonna take it down here. So, our last field of corn, but it's a big field. I'm take it down there, unload it quickly, run this truck back. Uh, I'll go park this truck and then, uh, I'll have to take the old uh, dot. Actually, I'm going to leave the truck here, take the dodge back. And uh, then I will, because we'll have to take this back anyway, so no big risks in that. Uh, then I will go get the big, mighty payloader. So, we're going to go talk to Bobby. Go get his mighty old payloader here quickly. Then hopefully get started on this. I'm really most of the day is already gone if you could tell where the sun's at so I need to rush 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 get all as many loads as I possibly can into our bunker uh, and hopefully maybe we can uh, up our uh, head count in our feedlot for over the winter 
the winter uh, snow is going to come anytime, basically. So we're just buying time. So I want to get this chop, and I want to get that uh, corn, basically, uh, harvested as soon as possible. Obviously, if you remember, I can't transport this giant uh, mega payloader. But uh, it should be alright. I'll just drive it through this town. They should be used to it by now. I think just to show you how giant this thing is, why don't we park all uh, our humongous uh, trucks. Now our truck is not small. So... Yeah. So that is quite the difference. So we'll go get this big old diesel Tron started up. Let this thing warm up a little bit. We'll even uh, turn on the lights in case somebody can't see us coming. Think that'll be an issue? I'm kind of doubting it myself too. Alright. The ground is shaking and we are moving. Are we gonna fit through here? So basically, do you think it would be odd if I fill up gas with this thing on the side of the road? I'm gonna do it. Let's fill up some gas here quickly. I know it's probably gonna cost more to fill up gas in this thing than it will cost for the whole entire... Don't mind me. Don't mind me just filling up gas for the next uh, three hours. Just kidding, I'm just gonna top it off. So basically, just to make sure, that thing is redonkulous. I mean, look how big that is. Somebody cuts me off, I'm just gonna put the whole car inside the bucket here. Just put the whole car in there. We'll dump it on top of some building, they'll never know. All right, so that cost me five grand. So let's get back in this. We'll drive down here. Uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna play chicken with a car. Chicken, lower the bucket. Oh, I'm just kidding. All right, get out of his way. Oh. Believe that? The car didn't even want to move. So luckily we are really close for where we need to use this because this thing goes at top speed of 13 mile an hour. Which, uh, isn't moving at any fast speed. You guys remember this area? Yep. Yep. There's a trailer buried in the ground here. Buried treasure, if you want to consider it. There's a trailer down there. The rats. Hopefully they found a new home. Sorry cows, I may spook you. I'm only trying to give you more feed. I think they moved for approval. So basically I want to use this to help compact the silage. Silage basically needs to be compacted pretty good. Basically to make sure it ferments properly so that way it's more nutritious for the cow's feed. Uh, especially when you're dealing with uh, chopped uh, insulage like this. Uh, chop corn when it dries out so we will hopefully have to uh, do some additives to it to help it uh, uh, ferment properly but it shouldn't be that bad I'm gonna use the load star over here uh, this is kinda why I'm glad we got this uh, belt system trailer works great for silage so it's kind of a dual purpose like I said, I'm kind of a two-man team with Timmy here. Timmy's going to be running the chopper, and uh, I'm going to be running this piece. Uh, Timmy did show up. He's got the silage waiting for me. The chopper, I mean, waiting for me. So we're going to run over there as quickly as possible and uh, cut our first paths in this field. I don't know whose field it is, but thank you for letting me drive in it. Nice and uh, uh, cultivated for us. All right, we got our first load. We got about 20 tons on us. 
who are reloaded down. So I'm glad it dried out around here because uh, running a truck like this, it's almost asking to get stuck. Especially how muddy this uh, fall has been for us. I think again, whoever feel owns this field, uh, I'm just driving, just compacting it a little bit. Don't worry about it. But we got a full load. I'm going to take our first load back there. Uh, it will probably be a few loads. We'll run a few loads in our uh, bunker before we start com really compacting it good. So there's no use when you have that big of a mega payloader to compact it too much. So probably should uh, plan this a little bit better and uh, chop the field like right next to our cattle. But I thought that would be a little bit more of a bumper crop in this field. Not sure though. That field didn't yield the best of the other fields. So probably should uh, just chop that field. And uh, ended up uh, be a lot more convenient running the feed over there. So I know I have these uh, standing silos here. But... Uh, I plan on uh, putting some chop alfalfa in them, so I don't really want to uh, put this uh, chaff in there right now. Especially this is uh, kind of, let's just say, not the nicest feed. Look at that. One load, and I barely put a dent in anything. So it's going to take multiple loads. We need to get to work. So we are uh, pulling up here. We are, uh, Timmy, it's running the uh, 9900 chopper over there uh, chopping that dry corn up uh, definitely doing pretty good so we, this is still our first row so we still got a lot of corn to chop but uh, that pipe on that chopper is extremely long I cannot get over how long that thing is like, look how far we are over here. So that's a 10 row chopper, I believe. We are way over here on the side. Like, we have to really be over here. Uh, I'm really worried about this old Lodestar. I'm hoping it doesn't uh, blow up on me. It's running a little hot. We might have to end up uh, resting it and uh, putting the feeder belt to work. But I'm going to see if it uh, can pull through gets any hotter I'm gonna have to swap it out but running good here just about full and we are full Timmy gave me the flashing lights we'll head off here driving somebody else's field that over there straight ahead that's a uh, bucks land up there or farmyard don't know if this is bucks farmland or not if not, uh, sorry, Buck. I'll just run my deep rippers through it, and it'll be just fine for you. All right, we are running up Timmy's rear here. Oh, that sounded bad. Oh, there he goes. So, uh, basically, uh, I think I'm going to have Timmy run on the other side over here. Cut this down, but should be doing good. I can't believe how much tonnage I am getting off this. I mean, I am getting a lot. So we only got two huge loads, and this thing holds, uh... So this thing, you can pretty easily be overloaded with corn. So that tells you about how much this thing holds. So it can hold a pretty good uh, amount of silage. It's kind of cool watching Timmy from the truck windows here. It's a good thing about this old truck, even though it overheats a little bit, is man is it the windows clear on it. Really easy to see. So it's kind of nice just running down these corn fields, corn rolls. It's kind of weird that we're getting a lot of lead drop, if you could tell, between the rows here. Usually when you're chopping silage, all you see is little stalks in between the rows. We got a lot of leaves and uh, corn that we are leaving in the field, but uh, as you can see, we are getting quite a bit for 
tonnage. So it's not too much of an issue. California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. It's just something about the way that he's making me feel. My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name. Oh, my body's giving up on me. Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips. Oh, I wanna run him through his hair, but I'm trying not to stare. Mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him. I couldn't hit him even if I tried. from the urge of being with him i act a little dumber when i try to get his number i'm so nervous that i'm losing grip of myself oh, my body's giving up on me because i don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, i want to run him through his hair but don't stare i get a little starstruck when i see him i couldn't hit Making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number up. So nervous that I'm losing grip on myself. I get a little starstruck when I see him. I couldn't hit him even if I tried. Am I a little crazy to believe that I could wake up with him by my side? I know I could get his attention if I worked it all out. And we got a little tipsy on a Saturday night. You yeah, want him, and I need. All right, we're pulling up for another load here. Oh, Timmy's getting to run again. Uh, we are pulling around in this guy's field. Uh, sorry, but uh, wheat is uh, kind of far from being harvested, so I don't think he's going to care much. Most likely he's going to have to plow that in. Timmy, where did you go? There he is. So a little bit harder to run on this side, but got quite a bit chopped here pretty good amount anyways I think uh, the the load start started uh, cooling off so or it didn't really cool off it just didn't get no hotter so I didn't end up uh, retiring it and putting a Peterbilt on this trailer because of the extra time needed to uh, swap the trucks and everything I just really wasn't trying to do it and this thing is dirty uh, it's not completely dry in the field, but it's dry enough for an 18 wheeler at least. Uh, we do have uh, some high grip tires on this thing, so it helps us out a little bit, but uh, it's still, I'm pretty lucky I haven't got stuck yet in this field, so. Anytime we're going to get stuck around here, it's definitely going to be with a full load of. Uh, uh, sh shaft from uh, in the middle of the field so these 18 wheelers ain't really uh, made for uh, running in the field like this but when it's dry it sure is convenient running them 
a little bit harder to run when you can't see uh, Timmy over there. We can just see the front of him. Makes it a little bit difficult. Well, he flashed his lights. We are ready to go. We'll head back here. So you'd be amazed how many loads we have gotten just off these few rounds here we've done. So we've gotten 12 loads already. It's a lot of chaff. A lot of chaff for just two people running here. Uh, I, I think I want to get another, what, six loads? And then I think it'll probably get about time to uh, start uh, compacting. So I, I just put off compacting until afterwards because I'm trying to get the most out of that uh, chopper uh, lease as possible. So it was later on in the day when we started, and now... Uh, I only got that uh, chopper for today, and then we're going to have to bring it back. Alright, we are racing back here. Hopefully Timmy's ready to go. Sometimes I catch him texting and I have to honk my horn at him. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I didn't even have to honk my horn, but I did it anyways, just to uh, piss him off. Mm -hmm. I like that, huh, Timmy? He's not even looking at me. So it's kind of nice they have a camera to see the spout view in there, so it makes it pretty easy for Timmy that really isn't that talented, to be honest. He's doing all right. Not doing bad so far. I know he's enjoying his nice cab in there because that thing is like brand spanking new. It only had like a hundred hours on it when we got to. It's kind of a weird lease we got to have on it so that's the biggest chopper I believe uh, John Deere makes I have no idea what the horsepower is on that thing but it, it has got to be a lot that that engine compartment the engine is just giant uh, Timmy says that it's basically never bogged down even close yet we are running at exactly six mile an hour the whole entire time and it's not even hardly showing it or uh, putting much of an engine load said uh, most you've seen is 50% engine load on it so that's pretty good <laughs> alright Timmy so make sure Timmy's running over here so this is our last load we're gonna have to end up taking our uh, the chopper back so I'm gonna tell Timmy once he fills me up just to load that thing up take it back to the dealer before we get charged for another day definitely don't want two days of that uh, running that chopper because that's expensive uh, this will be plenty of feed for us now we get to do the fun part we get it compacted with the giant mega loader Chopper worked great for us, no issues. Uh, put a smile on Timmy's face, if you can see. Uh, you can't really see. Well, Timmy's smiling over there, you can't even see, really. Uh, the Lodestar uh, didn't uh, overheat on us, other than uh, get covered with mud and dirt. Gonna be uh, washing this thing off for about two hours, probably. All right, Timmy, shut it down, load it on the trailer. I'll come back and I'll take it back to the dealer after I get done compacting. Whatever you say, boss man. Don't talk back to me, Timmy. You do what I say. Hopefully we don't get stuck on our last load. Definitely don't want that. Gotta make a sharp turn here. Ooh, that's sharp. So I'm just running on the edge of our field here and trying to make it all the way back to our silage pit. All right, so before we put that last load of silage in here, I want to run this payloader over here, compact this all. So we got a lot of silage. We didn't really fill this bunker up, but we don't need that much. So I'm gonna get this big dream machine. I just can't get over how big this thing is. This should be like two paths. What do you guys think? Start it up. 
All right, so we will start in over here. There's one giant bucket. Look at how big that bucket is. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Push that up. Move that up in there. Fill up these little holes that we got over here. There we go. So this thing is surprisingly bumpy for how uh, heavy it is. You would think something this big, this giant, would basically not really bump in anything. It would just basically compact anything. But it's pretty, let's just say, bumpy when you're running these. So I'm just trying to basically level this stuff out. Fill in the holes here. What? Did I get this thing stuck? No way. But I'm trying to get all this pushed up back to the back, basically. You would think this thing would get better traction around this, but it doesn't really get that great of traction, which is kind of odd, to be honest. This big of tires, you would think this would be just, like, minute for it. But... Basically, we almost get a whole truckload in one giant scoop. When when you have an opportunity to drive one of these things, you take it. I mean, these don't come around every day. You take advantage of what you got here. We can definitely get it up all nice in a pile here ready for compaction. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.